Our last video is going to actually do example number four out. Right? We're looking to find the instantaneous rate of change of f of x, which is equal to x squared at the point x equals 2. Okay, so as you saw from the previous video when we did the comparison and the contrasting, when we're given a function in an equation form, no graph, no table, just an equation, we're going to use that limit of the difference quotient. Okay, because we know that the instantaneous rate of change that's going to be equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. Okay, so we have a limit here. And because h is heading towards 0, this limit is producing 0 over 0. And we know from earlier in the year that if we get that 0 over 0 limit, then we can work around with it, we can do some algebra, and we can come up with some kind of answer in most of the cases. And that'll be the situation here as well. Okay, so our function is x squared, and our a value is 2. Okay, so when we're looking at this, we're actually interested in the limit as h approaches 0 of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2, oops, try that again, there we go, all over h. That's what we're looking to find. Okay, so what do we have to do? We have to plug 2 plus h into our function, right? You've been plugging values and expressions into functions for a long time here. So this 2 plus h is going to head up in for x, which means it's going to go to that x as well. Right? So let's go over here. We have the limit as h approaches 0. We don't want to forget that. That's important to leave that in there because if we don't have that limit in there, then it's going to basically just discombobulate the entire uh, difference quotient over here. Okay. So when we plug 2 plus h in for x, we get 2 plus h squared. Okay, all I'm doing is replacing x with this expression, which is 2 plus h. Okay. Minus and now we have to plug 2 into the function. All right, we plug 2 in for x, obviously 2 squared. We know that we have a 4 right here. Okay. And we have h in our denominator. Okay. Again, if we plug in 0 for h, we have 2 squared minus 4 in the numerator, which is 0. We have 0 in the denominator, so that's that 0 over 0 that we're looking to get rid of. So we want to work around this. We want to simplify this so that we no longer get that 0 over 0. How do you think we should attack this numerator? Well, if you said that we should expand the binomial, you are correct. 2 plus h squared is really 2 plus h times itself. So let's go over here on the side here. Right? 2 plus h, let's tell the board, right? 2 plus h times itself. All right, so we're going to FOIL. First gives us 4. Out gives us 2h. Inner gives us 2h last gives us h squared. So if we have 2h and 2h, we really have a total of 4h here. Okay. So now let's come back to our regular problem. We still have our limit. Instead of writing the binomial 2 plus h squared, we're going to write its expansion, which is 4 plus 4h plus h squared. That's the same expression as this expression right here. And we have our minus sign, and then our 4. And we're still dividing by h. Okay, so we're making some progress here. Now take a look at this new expression. Right? In your heads, what can we do to simplify this expression? What sticks out to you? Okay. My guess is that you're looking at that numerator and say, oh, wait a minute, we got a whole bunch of 4s that we can eliminate. Let's do that. Another marker here. 4 minus 4. They wipe each other out. That's good. We want to simplify this. And we've been able to do that. What does that leave us with? The limit as h approaches 0 of 4h plus h squared over h. Now what do we do? Can we cross out this h and that h? No, we cannot. Okay, Our algebra rules tell us that we have a group up in this numerator, this fraction bar is a grouping symbol. So the 4h and the h squared are connected by that plus sign. So we can't eliminate this h and that h. But up in the numerator, we have 4h and h squared, and they have a common term, an h. So 
we can factor that H out in the numerator only. And that's good as far as simplifying is concerned. All right, so limit as H approaches zero. Every term that's left here has an H. All the terms that did not have an H have eliminated each other. That should always happen. Okay. These two terms have an H. We're going to factor that H out. 4H divided by H is 4 plus H squared divided by H is H. We factor the H out of the numerator. The reason why we want to do that is because now this H is no longer connected to anything by plus or minus. It's only connected by multiplication, which means we can eliminate it, assuming we have an H in the denominator, which, lo and behold, we do. Those H's eliminate each other. They have ones left over. So what we're now looking at is the limit as H approaches 0, 4 plus H. H is going to 0, so this is 4 plus 0, which is 4. Okay. So what does that tell us? It means that our function is changing at the rate of 4 units when x is equal to 2. Okay. Let's turn that into a picture real quick. I know this video is getting a little long. Our function is x squared. All right, let's draw a quick graph of x squared. Okay. There it is. Let's go to the point where x is equal to 2. Right there. Now we know that the instantaneous rate of change is the slope of the tangent line. That was in the previous video. Okay. Let's draw a tangent line at that point where x is 2. There's our tangent line right there. The instantaneous rate of change is the slope of that tangent line. What does that mean? Here's our tangent line. Its slope is 4. Okay. So we're doing the same thing. Picture, equation, doesn't matter. Multiple ways to do this. That's what calculus is about. Equations, graphs, tables. We can work everything together. Doesn't matter what the format is that we're working on. So give example number five a shot. I will post a video about this shortly. But example five asks you to find the instantaneous rate of change 2x cubed when x is equal to 1. Okay. The answer is 6. So see if you can get that 6 on your own without looking at the video, which I will post in a little while.